invoice and receipt based VAT. So what does that mean? Are you going to use your invoices to work out your VAT or are you going to use your receipts? First of all, on the left, I've got a lot of cookie pens. This guy is a successful business and he's selling a lot of stock every day. Now, let's say, for example, these two black cookie pens are for debtors. So what happens is these people come and they buy the cookie pens, but they don't pay me straight away. They're going to pay for these cookie pens later, 30 days, 60 days later, they're a debtor. But because you are working with an invoice-based system for VAT, you're going to have to pay SARS, that VAT, for this month. So it works in the system that as soon as you issue an invoice, the VAT is due to SARS. You're going to have to wait a little bit for that money, but hopefully because you're a big company, you've got cash flow and you can pay the VAT as you issue your invoices. On the other side, we've got the little Oki with his metallic pens and he's only got a few of them and he sells a few of them a day. So this one was the invoice based, just so you remember. On this side, let's say he's got some customers again that are debtors. Let's go with the gold one. And the debtors don't pay. They'll pay later. But because you've got special permission to use the receipt base, you only have to give SARS that VAT, which you, which you charged, when you are getting the money from the debtor. In other words, he's coming back in a month or two months' time, and now he's paying you. You give him a receipt, and then SARS want to see, according to your receipts, how much money you owe them for that. So you will pay this VAT only in two or three months time so they give you a little bit of leverage but this is normally for the small guys and you normally need special permission so they use their receipts to work out how much VAT they owe for SARS and these guys on the left the big guys with lots of cash they use their invoices